compass was invented over 2000 years ago and were made of lodestone, a naturally occurring magnet. During hundreds of years, compass changed shapes and sizes, but for most modern applications, they are still considered as bulky and slow. This is a three axis digital compass known as magnetometer. It costs less than $2 and is much more fast and precise than a conventional compass. But how a magnet can be replaced by a little silicon chip? Well, physics has the answer. When electric current is flowing through an electric conductor, electrons generate their own magnetic field and when external magnetic field comes in, it interferes with existing magnetic field of electrons and exerts a force on them. This force is known as Lorentz force, named after physicist Hendrik Lorentz. Then in 1879, Edwin Hall discovered that if a flat current carrying conductor is exposed to magnetic field, electrons accumulate on one side due to a Lorentz force and because of uneven distribution of charge, if we connect a voltmeter to the conductor, voltage can be observed and by observing the characteristics of voltage such as its magnitude and whether it is positive or negative, magnitude or strength and direction of magnetic field can be determined. Hall effect sensors designed and modified especially to measure Earth's magnetic field are known as magnetometers. They are in a category of micro-electromechanical systems. They can be so small that size of an entire three-axis magnetometer can be less than a couple of millimeters. That makes them perfect to embed in smartphones. Nowadays, magnetometers are used with other sensors such as gyroscopes and accelerometer with various sensor fusion algorithms to determine precise orientation. That makes them backbone of various virtual and augmented reality applications. But their most important use remains the same as was 2000 years ago, which is navigation. To give a sense of direction to make sure we are always heading in right direction.